Hello and thank you for joining us. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. Today we're going to be talking about the new sort of interface that Apple TV has been integrating into a number of its apps to make them easier to browse. Apple TV, of course, is controlled with a controller or an app, and so it's a little more difficult than jumping on a computer and going to a website. But this is what they've done. They have updated the top of the screen on most of these to make it easier to browse by categories. This isn't uniform on every single app they have. In fact, one of the most prominent ones, Netflix, currently does not. But, on a number of them, you can now use that simple menu up top to find content based on category. This of course is Crackle, as you probably saw. But, if we jump out to CBS News. So you have CBS News, which is your basic clips on demand. We have the live feed. And that just launches so right in. Signs that he's starting to crack. Um, for From here you can browse their library of shows. But you can see how this sort of change makes things a lot easier to find. And this is the way, like I said, that a number of their apps are now designed. So, if you're looking at one of these devices and haven't yet to purchase, this will give you a bit of an idea of what things will look like. I gotta say, I think that this is the easiest to use version of Hulu Plus out there. There's nothing nothing hidden. I, I think that some of the interfaces they almost hide the menus. So that's a bit about the interface for Apple TV. I really do like their app interface on here. This is this is a major improvement. Uh, YouTube, if you haven't checked your Apple TV in a long time, has completely streamlined their look. It used to be nothing but long lists. It was pretty heavily criticized. It was unique, but yet harder to work with. You can now access your subscriptions. You do have to sign in for them. From here you can also register YouTube on your Apple TV. What you have to do is you go to your a computer or a tablet, go to this website, type in the code, and that allows you to access your subscriptions. But I'm excited to see this change. It, lo it looks like Apple's starting to really take this device a little more seriously. For years, we've heard it was a, a hobby. But Apple cannot miss the fact that set-top boxes are becoming a pretty hot topic. And with rumors of their new device coming, supposedly in June... I don't endorse rumors, but it does look like they might be going in that direction. They look to be sharpening some features up and getting things ready going forward. Let's hope so. That's it for the tips. I hope this was helpful, and if you thought so, please subscribe to us. Share this video with friends, share it on Facebook, and check us out at www.thestreamingadvisor.com for more on streaming. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.